Bye, kids. Okay, uh, let's talk about what is opening in theaters today, August 18th. Uh, two films we'll talk about, but there's more than two films, obviously. Uh, these two are the ones that are expected to do the best business. Uh, also, maybe have the most pressure to perform well at the box office this weekend. So first up is Blue Beetle. It is the next in the line of the DC Extended Universe. Uh, reviews so far indicate that it's uh, perhaps, or it's better reviewed than the last few DC EU outings. Maybe the ship is getting right. Uh, it depends on who you are, what your views are. Your opinions are your own. Uh, the film has about a hundred and fifteen million dollar budget. Again, a film superhero film that has a bigger budget than Oppenheimer. I don't know why I'm stressing this point, but movies don't have to cost this much. And if they do, they should look better. <laughs> um, uh, it made a $3.3 million is about the forecast for what it made yesterday, Thursday. Uh, it's projected based on that and other factors to make about 25 to $30 million this weekend, uh, which means it could be potentially, potentially overtake Barbie, number one at the box office. We'll see, because Barbie's probably still going to do, I would say, around 26, 27 million. That's my guess. So if it does the 30, it will be number one, at least this weekend at the box office. But we shall see. Uh, rated PG, so that helps it, right? Wider, wider audience, unlike the next film, which is Strays. Uh, Strays is rated R. Strays is a live action film, uh, but starring dogs. So there's real dogs. We're doing the Milo and Otis, I don't know, fantastic journey. What's that? Homeward Bound? Anyways, uh, voices of Will Ferrell, Jamie Foxx, among others. Um, this is a film probably would have performed better if it came out in 2004, right? Will Ferrell, Jamie Foxx, right at their peaks there. Ray, Anchorman. Uh, anyways, uh, it had a $46 million budget. Uh, it did about $1.1 million yesterday, Thursday, so a third of what Blue Beetle did. Um, but it's rated R, of course, so it can't play as wide of an audience. Uh, it is projected to make about 15 to 17 million dollars. Um, I think that's a little high. It'll probably be more like 10. Uh, but it could land somewhere in the box office around the number three or four spot over the weekend. I don't know if we've seen some numbers drop. Turtles has been dropping through the week, but weekend comes. People will take their kids to see the movie. So it might uh, strengthen its foothold. Uh, likely we'll see Indiana Jones and Mission Impossible fall out of the top 10, maybe. And the Freedom Bound to 10, we can hope. Uh, anyways, uh, that's it for this. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe.